Hi there, my name is Cassie and I have my breast augmentation with Natrell Round Gel. I'm from a small suburb outside of Dallas, Texas. One of my absolute favorite pastimes is fishing. I also have a passion for decorating. I love anything involved with home renovation or makeovers. One of these days I would like to get more into home renovation and house flipping even has been a, a dream of mine for a long time to, to get into as a career one of these days. I was always very, not just small chested, but flat as a board to be honest. In high school, I had the, the little chiclet you put in your bra. It was very hard to find clothing. Summertime wearing swimsuits was terrible to find a swimsuit that could give the appearance of having something without it being obvious that it was just a cone sitting on my chest. And so uh, that was always very challenging for me was finding clothes. I put off having surgery for a while because I had so many questions, you know, what happens if I wake up from surgery and I look down and they're just huge or if they don't look right and fit my little body. And so for a long time I debated, should I just be happy with being flat chested and being this for the rest of my life? I'm so happy that I finally decided to go ahead and have an augmentation with Natrell Round Gel. Best decision I've ever made. And I just, I love my new curvy shape. You know, it's fun to get dressed now, to put on a little dress and and feel like a woman. I can throw on a tank top and run out the door. It's, it's so easy to dress myself now and very rarely do I ever even wear a bra, which is incredible. Advice that I would give to a friend that's thinking about having the breast augmentation is if you're unhappy with how your breasts look, do yourself a favor and at least go look into it. See a plastic surgeon, have a consultation, and just check out your options. This is the best decision, hands down, that I have ever made. The results are so worthwhile. Natrell Breast Implants Important Information Who may get breast implants? Indications Natrell Breast Implants are indicated for women for the following. Breast augmentation for women at least 22 years old for silicone-filled implants. Breast augmentation for women at least 18 years old for saline-filled implants. Breast augmentation includes primary breast augmentation to increase breast size, as well as revision surgery to correct or improve the result of a primary breast augmentation surgery. Important safety information. Who should not get breast implants? Contraindications. Women with active infection anywhere in their body. Women with existing cancer or precancer of their breast who have not received adequate treatment for those conditions. Women who are currently pregnant or nursing. What else should I consider? Warnings. Breast implants are not lifetime devices and not necessarily a one-time surgery. Many of the changes to your breasts following implantation cannot be undone. If you later choose to have your implants removed and not replaced, you may experience unacceptable dimpling, puckering, wrinkling, or other cosmetic changes of the breast, which may be permanent. Breast implants may affect your ability to breastfeed, either by reducing or eliminating milk production. Rupture of a silicone-filled breast implant is most often silent and may not be detected by you or your doctor. You should have an MRI three years after your surgery and then every two years after that for as long as you have your breast implants to determine if rupture is present. If implant rupture is noted on an MRI, you should have the implant removed with or without replacement. With breast implants, a routine screening mammography and self-examinations for breast cancer will be more difficult. Ask your doctor to help you distinguish the implant from your breast tissue. Symptoms of a ruptured implant may be hard knots or lumps surrounding the implant or in the armpit, change or loss of size or shape of the breast or implant, pain, tingling, swelling, numbness, burning, or hardening. Tell your doctor of these symptoms and remove ruptured implants. Inform any other doctor who treats you of the presence of your implants to minimize the risk of damage to the implants. What types of conditions require more study? Precautions. Caution. Notify your doctor if you have any of the following conditions, as the risks of breast implant surgery may be higher. Autoimmune diseases, for example, lupus and scleroderma. A weakened immune system, for example, currently taking drugs that weaken the body's natural resistance to disease. Planned chemotherapy following breast implant placement. Planned radiation therapy to the breast following breast implant placement. Conditions that interfere with wound healing and blood clotting. Reduced blood supply to breast tissue. Clinical diagnosis of depression or other mental health disorders, including body dysmorphic disorder and eating disorders. Please discuss any history of mental health disorders with your surgeon prior to surgery. Patients with a diagnosis of depression or other mental health disorders should wait for resolution or stabilization of these conditions prior to undergoing breast implantation surgery. What are some complications with breast implants? Complications. Key complications are reoperation, implant removal with or without replacement, implant rupture with silicone-filled implants, implant deflation with saline-filled implants, and severe capsular contracture, severe scar tissue around the implant. Other complications include asymmetry, nipple, breast, skin sensation changes, scarring, or wrinkling, rippling. Talk to your doctor about other complications. 
Talk to your doctor. For more information, see the patient brochure at www.allergan.com slash labeling slash usa.htm or call the Allergan product support line at 1-800-433-8871. To report a problem with Natrell, please call Allergan product surveillance at 1-800-624-4261. Natrell breast implants are available by prescription only.